It's fair to say that we have fishnicket. Anyway. Flustered. Flustered. Rattled. Disheveled. Pickled. Blistered. Hmm. Fashnicket. Um, that is the redoubtable in himself, Thomas J. Is the high question one. Ronald J. Miliaccio, segment three. IDD, if there's no, I don't disagree. It is a freestyle Friday here in the mid sack, and we are in the witching hours, entering Saturday and what's going to be a gloriously succulent weekend. And hopefully, both our teams will win, so I have to come on here and cry on Monday. Um, yeah, please. I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry anymore. I don't want to cry. Um, but if you, no, if, I believe. You, if you're a fan of the Celtics, they make you cry. I'm, see, I'm, but, <laughs> but, but right now I'm standing on my I believe philosophy. You're still in good position. So you, are you. We lost home court. We have to get it back. You already got. You haven't lost yours. We have to get it back. Totally won a game in Miami. Like we're not in good position. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so and they put themselves there. There's no one to live themselves. So well, anyway, we'll see what happens this weekend with both those teams. They're, we're six o'clock Saturday prime time. They're one o'clock Sunday. <laughs> Fucking primo. Primo time. I'm like, hey, want to start your afternoon off right? How about a Donnie? I told you, those uh, are the games I remember mm-hmm. in the 90s when I was a kid. We had to go to church on Sundays. Yeah. And I would have my Ewing jersey under my polo shirt. Yep. And when I got home. Yeah. You, you know, know what was cool? Um, game was almost on. The um, Back in the day when the NBA finally got on TV, like CBS had a Sunday doubleheader every Sunday during the basketball season. And whenever the Celtics played the Lakers out in L.A., it was always a Sunday game. It was on CBS. Mm. The fucking whole nation was watching. It was fucking awesome. See, I always it remember NBA awesome. on NBC. Yeah, that was, yeah. It was and I think it was. And CBS was. And then Brett Musburger would come on. He's like, there are a few in this world. Like I say, Thomas. He's just around the court. It's legendary. And he's, like, he's, and he's showing how it's, and he's talking about him. Uh, and then they go, din, 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 and they go, but those sixes, they got a young buck of their own named Charles Barkley, the bread truck, and they go, home. and he is a thundering herd to be sure. And they show him, he's he, with his first tenacity, he is one of the great young stars in this league. And, they, Brett, and he talks about it, he goes, we'll see what happens today in Pontiac. And they go, din, 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 and he goes, din, din. Jesus, oh, are you going to give me the whole fucking. Oh, it's fucking magical. The whole broadcast? It's magical. The what, opening what segment is magical. The they always like the, the, there we go. They come to the whatever city it's in, and they tell it like a quick tale about the city. <laughs> it's like, well, it's like the football they would but do. they're shutting it all down today because the Rockets and the Spurs are next here on CBS. <laughs> Dude, NBA on NBC though, Marv Albert, Knicks on a Sunday. Marv Albert couldn't touch Brett Musburger. Couldn't touch him. And know. Marv was good. Brett I like Musburger, Marv. I like Marv. He, I just said he was good, but Brett Musburger was on another level. Dude, Mike, now, Mike Breen is is now he's good. When Brent was doing it, they only put the best teams on. Yeah, they only put the there was no scab game. There was none of that shit. No, no, no. it was fucking the elite. Every Sunday was a, there was a top. I mean, Marv did games. Marv did the top games. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying the, the Marv, Marv, ooh, Marv. Marv. Yeah, um, but he Brett Musburger was on. Oh God, it's this I commercial. Can't. I hate this fucking commercial. Why is it so bad? Because the two of them. Ah. Uh. All right. They're give bad me, actors. Give me, I'd rather see um, Ant-Man. I, I bet you. And Ant- they can't sing. I bet Ant-Man <laughs> would be better in this commercial with who? Would it have to be with a teammate? I, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Maybe you put him with a real singer. How about mm, that? Okay. Uh, so like so Ant-Man and like yeah. D'Angelo or yeah, something like, like a that? chick. Like a, like a hot chick. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be good. What a pro wants, but no. Pro. Yeah, whatever. No. Don't start. Stop. Stop. It's terrible. Anyway. <laughs> Se- Dude, you started singing I immediately when I terrible. started singing. I know. Are we some kind of boy band? Jeez. Oh, God, I hope not. Well, they did pull some chicks. They did. It's true. Whether or not I agree with it or not, they did. <laughs> so, I mean, um, most of them, there were some songs you'd like anyway. As much as people criticize you know, boys bands from like Toxic I, I will I will admit this. You still there love are those songs. there are two songs that I couldn't stand growing up, but now I hear them. Actually, they're all right. They've grown on me over like, like back, thirty like years. Backstreet songs. I don't remember who. There's two of them. I don't remember the the names of the band. In sync. I think one of them is Backstreet Boys. I think. Dude, Backstreet had some pretty good hits. It's like, and you hear them now, and you almost, it's like that moment in Harold and Kumar when they're driving, they stole the fucking, the, the pickup truck. I haven't seen And that. the guys, all of a sudden, they, they're posers, and they put on this the cassette tape, and Wilson Phillips comes on. <laughs> if you hold 
hold on. They start singing it. Like in the beginning, they're looking like these guys. And they start singing it by the end. It was so fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> like For one more day. day. Oh, I'm like, they both do this. <laughs> I've never watched Harold and Kumar. You would love that movie. Are you sure? Yes. We should watch it stoned. Because honestly, that's that movie, it's like Friday. You have to watch Friday yeah, stoned. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those. Like we should have I don't we know, should, Friday. Dude, we, Friday we should have a mar- stone dude, cold sober in the middle of a day. Dude, is you gotta take Monday off. I can't take Monday off. It's my birthday. Dude, I can't. We could have done a marijuana marathon on Monday. I can't. Like with these songs. I already got shit scheduled. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a great day, though? Yeah, it would. That'd be fun. Like, you put Friday on, Harold and Kumar. What's another good stone one? Days and Confused? Something like, something like that? Dude. Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. What's the one that Dave Chappelle was in? Half-Baked? Half-Baked. Yeah, that, that was, was good, funny. too. That was funny, too. I'm saying, like, that would be a, a marijuana yeah. marathon. That'd be fucking awesome. See, when you were single, you could do that shit in your fucking apartment. It was the coolest thing ever. And honestly, it would happen on Friday. You get off work at five o'clock on a Friday, and your buddy's coming home, and you've already you're already fucking lighting up and drinking, whatever you're doing. The fucking shows are on, and you're thinking about what are we gonna order out? And you do all this. Here's the funny part: when we were in our twenties. We did all this, and then we went out. <laughs> It'd be like ten o'clock at night. Like, now we go and hit the clubs. Like we did that from like five to ten, and they're like, "Hey." What that bar still? Let's sit over there. Let's sit over there for a couple of drinks. Yeah, yeah. And the fucking the night. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. When when seriously, from twenty four to to thirty was the greatest six years of my life. Just fucking fun every weekend. It was I like had kids. Yeah. <laughs> no fucking kids. I didn't days. have those years. Oh, they're fucking great. They were great. I miss those days. I, I look. I love my life now. I'm not complaining. But that those six years in particular. Like twenty four to thirty. Actually, it was twenty four to thirty two. It was eight 10. years. It was eight years. Those those eight years were fucking just so much fun. Yes, and, and of course they were a blur because every weekend you were, every fucking weekend, oh, yeah. like and the thing is you'd spend half the week at work regaling people of your tales from the weekend. <laughs> then you, on Wednesday you start ramping up for the next week. <laughs> it was fucking great. Um, and we were playing in men's leagues. We were still in shape. We were playing basketball games and we go out and hit Fridays after that for cocktails on a Wednesday night and eat sports centers on the Celtics are on whatever. It was awesome. So much fun. Just a great Ruby time. Tuesdays. Now it was it was a, a Route Nine in Natick. Did you um, hit the Ruby Tuesdays? No, it was a Fridays. That was the place everybody went on Wednesday nights, Fridays, and then the fucking Old bar. Country Buffet. TGIF didn't have a, didn't have a buffet to give. But the but the um, the apps were really good. The wings, the boneless buffalo wings, were spectacular. You like uh, boneless wings? I love them. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. You like that trash? I love them. I wish I would have known that because. I like both. Last night at Buffalo Wild Wings, it was buy six, get six. That's all right. You didn't know. If I had known you liked them, I would have definitely got six. Well, if you guys don't like them, 12. if you guys don't like them, don't care. I know, but I should have. Because I like them both ways. But if I had known, I would have gotten six because that would have been 12 See, extra things. My problem is, is I have a fucking, I have this obsession with the fucking Texas Road, the, the Hooters Texas Dry Rub. That's fucking the. <laughs> that's the goat. That's wing. the goat for me. Everybody's the got the, everybody's wing. got their favorites, and I'm not begrudging any of you. I get it. That's my goat. And the problem is, we we have hooters around us, but they're just out of range. They're just a little too far. <laughs> like the, you yeah. know what I mean? They're, they're little, annoyingly. They're far. annoyingly just far yeah. enough. We're like, nah, shit. Yeah. No. If they were ten minutes closer, we'd be like, yeah. Dude, but see, here's the other thing about the wing discussion that we typically have in this neighborhood mm. is that certain people don't consider you being one of them. You don't consider a wing that has any breading on it to be a buffalo wing. Like it's it kind of like it takes it, it out of the equation. Does, it does. It just doesn't do but it for why? Me. I don't know. Because you know why? When you have buffalo wings that are like, that aren't like that, that it just you want those all the time. And this Dude. is like that now. Dude, it's fucking fried chicken. So there's a place by us called Sal's, and it. they love it. And their the wings, wings the their wings are floured, and maybe there's breadcrumbs on them. I don't know, but I've the, had them. They're the not, crust on these wings. Let's be fair. They're not. I like. I like them. I don't. I don't hate them. It's like eating. But mini, they're not. But it's like eating mini pieces of fried chicken. They're not. They're not like. They're not traditional chicken wings. They're just not. And. But they are the best you know, around. Creek brought that up though. Have we ever tried the wings of Glory Days? We should try that out. We gotta find well, out. I brought that up via text, but y'all motherfuckers wouldn't give me any fucking. I, I didn't. I would have. I would have been okay with that. I know, but everybody goes. I'm like, hey, what do we want to eat? And everybody's like, well, then you should I'm just good, whatever. 
Well, I didn't want to be pushy. <laughs> I know, but I, but I want to know what people want. Well, I said I actually I'm only brought up wings. I said wings. Yeah. Well, we it was talked me. about wings the other day, yeah. right? Yeah, I love wings. Wings, wings, are the wings best. and sporting events. It's like you and can't. that was when you said yeah. no breaded wings. No breaded wings. And DJ feels the same way as you do. I know, I'm not alone because he always says these aren't real wings. They're not. <laughs> <laughs> and the again, thing. it's the do same I think thing. they taste good? Some of them do. They're just not as good as the. They're just not. And when you have those. The fact that you're not a ranch guy, though, that kind of pisses me well, off. Well, good wings. Look, as I like ranch, but good wings don't need them. <laughs> uh, if a wing is good enough, it don't need no, nothing on it. It's good the way it is. I'm not, and I have nothing against you if you dick. And it's not when that it I comes do. with a condiment, needs is always You feel compelled word. not to waste the condiment. Well, no, it just it enhances. I'm not saying it doesn't. I'm saying if I like a wing, it doesn't need anything else on it. If I don't like it, then oh, where's some of that ranch? So see, <laughs> so there are some things that I eat that that I agree with that on. So yeah. like, if a pancake is good, I just need butter. You wouldn't put syrup on it? No. If a pancake is good, I, I don't even syrup. need syrup. I because syrup. when the pancake is that good, and it's just well buttery, and you if get the you flavor, have I mean, buttery blueberry fluffy like the ones right, you make, that's what I'm talking about. Do those need syrup? Probably not. <laughs> if we're being fair, but a plain pancake with just butter on it. If it's a good pancake, yes. There's got to be something sweet in it. <laughs> well, there should be sugar in the batter. There should batter. be something in there. There should be sugar in the there batter. Be something. At the very least. There's got to be something in there. Um, what else? Okay, so steak is another one. Like a medium rare steak. Just give me salt. Just, just give I me like salt. I like medium to medium well. Medium is perfect. Medium well? Medium well, which is like a warm pink center. No, medium well, overdone. No, that's charred. That's the fifth one. There's five Dude, of them. Dude, medium well, it's like gray. Medium to medium well. Medium warm is pink the most center or gray. No, medium is not. Dude, have you ever had have you ever had a I've had all of them. I like medium rare too, by the way. Have you ever had a rare fillet? No, I don't like the, rare fillet. So I tried it. I had it once. That's not true. I had it once. I hated it. Really? Yeah, I hated it. Fucking hated it. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I fucking hated it. Dude, one time I was on a work trip, and see, I always go medium rare. I always go medium rare, which sometimes, on like a ribeye, it can be a little fatty, and it's not as good. Like, sometimes medium would be better, but I, I typically go medium rare. See, I think that's part of it. Yeah. The cut. What kind yeah. of cut is it? You but know? see, like on a filet... Mm. I, I never really liked the fillet. It always was too small. But I had a friend one time. And the he fillet was like, medium is, the warm pink center is perfect. Dude, well, he perfect. got it rare. Rare? And he, and he cut, like, he almost, like, he cut, like, these thin slices of it. It yeah. was delicious. Was it? So the edges of it had a char on them. Yeah. But, I mean, no. it was yeah. it was delicious. Yeah. And I was like, damn. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, because it's so lean. You know, you can get it rare, and, like, it's not going to have all that fat that, like, a ribeye or something like yeah. that would have in it. Yeah. And you just I think the cut has something to yeah, do with it. Yeah, it does. I, it, so what, what's better where, you know. But to me, um, medium is perfect. Medium medium well is good. I like medium rare, too. I do. I'm in the mood for it. But I don't like mm. rare. I don't, I don't like chart. I don't like the chart is too much. Dude, now I'm getting excited about tomorrow night. I know. Oh, my God. How do I not stuff my face before that? I don't. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's like I, I can't eat all day. I literally, I don't want to eat anything nothing, nothing. from now until then. Yeah. That's the first thing I want to eat Like tomorrow. maybe, or well, maybe in the morning maybe I have a shake. shake in the morning, but no lunch. A shake. A shake in the morning, that's it. Skip lunch. At the most, an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe some hash browns. <laughs> okay, if I'm being truthful, okay. an egg sandwich. If I throw in a BLT, <laughs> Look, who's going to know? An egg on, an egg on a bagel. Who's going to know? Bag of chips at one. <laughs> Semantics. Semantics. <laughs> nah, I didn't need any chips the other night. I know. I'm just saying. I ate like Dude, four. You bags. guys were pissing me off. I ate like four bags. Me? Yes. Why? Because you, you guys were breaking my fucking balls. <laughs> it was pissing me off. I'm like, my team's losing. And then like, <laughs> you guys, you're like, oh, you been like this the whole time? Like, since Monday. And then it's like, <laughs> it's Monday. And then it's like oh, we can't hear the draft. I'm like, turn the fucking Knicks That wasn't off. me. That was Creekmore. Dude, I did not want to hear the Knicks game after a certain point. Oh. And I was like. No, because they were blowing. Change. They were blowing. Yeah, through. I was like, change it. Yeah. Turn it down. But instead of changing it, just it was just kept bitching about it. About it. <laughs> and then finally, I was like, God damn it. <laughs> DJ, DJ was like. You're, you're uh, what did he say? What did he say? 
You're ornery tonight. Or you're you're ornery. I, I can't remember what I was. Ornery? It's like, because you guys are breaking my fucking balls. Like, you guys are shit about this. I'm sorry, I can't like a golfer. <laughs> Can't like a golfer. Yeah, I don't have this fucking. I don't feel this way about a fucking golfer. <laughs> like, right. Sorry, right. sorry. But you were busting my balls too. I was. Hey, you little bitch. I wasn't as bad as them though. No, I know. I kind of just said he's been like this since Monday. That's kind of <laughs> I said I was trying to say cut him some slack. <clears throat> <laughs> they had a great, <laughs> but that that went the wrong <clears throat> way. <laughs> Creek took this. Oh, so it's bust his balls now. Okay. <laughs> Every fucking chance. I would. I would like to know if I could turn it up. I could read. I could figure it out. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to read lips over here. <laughs> like, oh, but, I, but I had some pretty good comebacks. You that. did. You did. It was funny. It was our funny banter. <laughs> I think if we were stoned, it would have been funny. I remember when DJ was like, "He's like the Knicks are playing, and you're not wearing." <laughs> oh. Oh. Go oh back. shit! That's a frustration foul. He was like, the Knicks are playing, and you're not wearing Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh, that's kind of. You're not wearing RJ. Come on, I was dude. Like, I was like, I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I think I'm playing right now, motherfucker. This was a hard foul. Oof. Yeah. Do it's, you make that? Mm, I don't know. Is it going? Dude, go Bears, big as shit. He's 7 1. That is a foul. Ooh. He made it. Yes, he did, and won. Damn. Damn. Way to put it away. Way to put it away. And then you had Anthony Davis fucking doing the whole <laughs> the bull ride, the bull <laughs> dance. They told you to bend over. We bent them over. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought he was doing the old wrestling thing, like the. What he was, was doing the, this? Yeah, yeah. What was the those pelvis? Remember, like the WCW um, wrestling. To me, that's like can't like was you're it NWO? like he, you're his bitch in prison. NWO. <laughs> you're his prison bitch. Um. But anyway. <laughs> That is not what he's saying. I didn't say he said anything. Not saying when he does that, that's what I think. What are they reviewing now? Flagrant one. Oh, my God. Or flagrant two. I need a quicker review of these things. That is a... Well, that was a pre- he wound flagrant up. Flagrant one. He wound up. Yeah, yeah he'll get it. Yeah. Two sh- well, one shot in the ball because he made it. Yep. So. Right? Isn't that yeah. how it'll work? Yeah, do one shot in the ball. Or will he get a shot? Or maybe he gets a technical right, and then a shot in the ball. Get, yeah. Maybe it's two. Uh, anyway, <laughs> fucking Phoenix is getting pounded in the ass again. They're about to go down 3 0. Oh, here comes, who's this, Javi? Is that Javi? This is Javi going, you know, they didn't even lose use <laughs> lube on this one time. They just bent him right over. They didn't even fucking, you know. No, the worst Gotta is. have a hard like, time overruling that. <laughs> the worst is when the wrong call is made and then they bring in Javi to tell you why the wrong call was made. Yeah. And you just go, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck it was the wrong call. Yeah, we, we don't need yeah. some expert analysis yeah. telling us why bullshit. he made the wrong right. call. Because <laughs> he's a donkey? How about that? Like, um, um, actually, this wasn't the wrong call. When you look you at see it, the ref here, there was contact. From that angle, Shut it actually up. looks like the right call. Unfortunately, right. he was at the wrong angle. Yeah. Thankfully, our camera crews were at the right angle. <laughs> That's not the ref's fault. <laughs> That's what you said. You're like, will you shut the fuck up, please? <laughs> you have more fucking excuses than LeBron James. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did you see the interview where LeBron was like, I mean, it's just basketball. He's, he knows he knows. <laughs> Did you see that? Dude, it's 12 in a row. I mean, it's just basketball. Well, Braun, talk, Jokic, by the way, did you see that, that, that text I sent you about the All-Star game a couple years ago? Yeah. When yeah. LeBron picked Jokic last, mm-hmm. he passed the guy over him, and like ever since then he's 0-10 over 10 over 11 against him. When was that that he did that? It was two years ago. So awesome. he had already won an MVP? He won an MVP. He won two, actually won a second MVP. <laughs> and jo- and, and they, they, they're picking the teams, and he was, LeBron picked him last. And who was the Actually, LeBron guy? passed on him, and the other team, there was two guys left, and LeBron passed on him and got the other guy, so he was by himself and went with the other team. And since then, he has not lost to LeBron James. No, he went to LeBron's team, though. No, he didn't. He went to the other team. Really? Yeah, LeBron passed over him to get the other guy. He was dead last. Oh, I thought he picked him last. No, he picked the last guy over him, and let, mm. he never picked him. And apparently, Jokic never forgot it. <laughs> so, Well, did you see when they I mean, asked him about that, and he was like, no. I wouldn't have picked me for this game. Yeah, he tried to be politically correct because mm-hmm. he says the wrong thing. So he looks like a crybaby. Mm-hmm. And kudos to him because he's not a crybaby. Yeah. He's like, I'll just beat your fucking ass in the court like a motherfucker. I'll own you. <sighs> I'll bend you over, goat. You are a goat. You're a goat in the field. Mm-hmm. Well, you <laughs> You're know, a goat and I'm the shepherd. <laughs> did you hear Jamal Murray? 
No. He was like, I think when it comes to duos, we're the best. Yeah, why would he think they're the reigning world champs? Correct. Yeah. So they, were, they got the ring. They're the reigning champs. Yeah, I would say that too. If they got bounced in the first run every year, I'd kind of laugh at them. <laughs> but no. This is ugly. Half the Phoenix crowd has already left. <laughs> yeah, the place is empty. Yeah, they got it to 15. <laughs> Two minutes left. There's six possessions left. Oh, my God. Minnesota is very impressive. Maybe seven. Anthony. Two minutes. Is that seven possessions? Uh, tw- it's four, uh, three, five possessions. Cause there's, oh, my God. Anthony Edwards again. Five possessions in two minutes? Because 24 seconds. So 48 seconds would be two possessions. There's 12 seconds left. Then you have 48 on the other side. There's 12, so that's five possessions. 12 and 12 is 24. 24 second shot clock. So there's five possessions left mm. in the game. Um, and it doesn't matter because Phoenix is still down. With that three, they're down 14. <laughs> they're down two touchdowns with a minute to go. Yeah. Tom Brady couldn't pull this one out, okay, with Gronk and his Brian. Okay? So this is not happening. Phoenix is down 0-3. This series is over. Um... Oh, man. Oh. I, oh, my God. I guess the only question is, why is Durant still out there? It's over. I um, guess the only question is now, do L.A. and Phoenix just bow out? Because they're going to lose in five anyway. <laughs> so we can get this Minnesota-Denver showdown on, which I think everybody wants to see this. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> so, man, what did Devin Booker do tonight? I don't know, but it wasn't enough. I didn't look his numbers up. I kind of stopped watching when I started laughing. Yeah, this game, um, this this, game was this not This game good. blew <laughs> massive. Hold on. Was this a six-point game at halftime? Yeah, it was 59-53. 59-53? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's bad. that's shambles. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Um, but I guess, again, the... the oh, but they just bricked the three. <laughs> <laughs> I smell a comeback. What are we looking for? What are we, what are we looking for? Box score. I want to see what, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what Booker did. Booker, 42, 23 points on 8 of 15 shooting. Beal had 28 points. Durant had 25. The big three showed up. Here's the problem. O'Neal had zero. Nurkic, three. Mm. The bench actually wasn't bad. Eubanks, nine. OKG, OKG, 8. Mm, Gordon, the bench uh, Gordon was plus. Gordon, 11. Yeah, the bench was actually pretty Most good. of the bench was plus, yeah. minus, plus. So, by the end of the day, um, Kevin Durant's done. Done. Watch mm. Done. Done. It's done. Um, LeBron James, done. It's over. Done. Done. It's done. So, it was a good run, you guys. Six titles between you. That's not bad. That's Hall of Fame shit. Good run. <laughs> Steph Curry, done. 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 <laughs> You're the done master tonight? Look, if you put all three of them on the same team right now, they'd still be done. Mm. Well, I don't think those guys are meant to play together. They're really not. You need three basketballs. Because LeBron's not going to change. None of them can. No, none of them can. Um, But the thing is, they had a great run between them. Like I said, 4-4. That's 10 championships between the three of them. um, I think Durant could probably play with anybody. He hasn't won since Steph. Didn't That's move before true. Steph, didn't move without Steph. Steph won without him. But yeah. I think in, in terms of the that other two guys. That puts him third. I'm just saying in terms of the other two guys, well, no, LeBron's shown that he can play with others. Yeah, Hall of Famers. Um, That's true. <laughs> but um, well, no, to me, every, everybody was not Hall of they, Famers. as a big three, like Bird, Bird Magic and, and, and Jordan are the standard, 6-5 and 3. I mean, that's 14 championships. So between these three, they got 10. That's good. That's really good. So, but unless they team up and get some really good young players like a Jason Tatum or somebody like that, um, they they're not. I don't think any of them going to sniff a title. Yeah, yeah. I think they're done. They, they, they'd have to go to a loaded team and be you know a two or whatever it is because that loaded team def already has a one. Mm-hmm. So, um, and look, if it if this is the end in terms of them mattering, they had a hell of a run. Yeah. They, they defined a generation, so they didn't fail. Mm-mm. They didn't fail. <laughs> so, um, for the so most, who are the guys behind them? You think? What do you mean? 
I mean, who like who's after those three? Now, like Ant. Ants, Tatum, Ants, John Morant. I mean, they, the future's bright. Yeah. I mean, they, they've got the the people to tell. Jokic is 28. He's not going nowhere. And Bede's 28 or 29. So they, the, the, the league is in good shape. It really is. Yeah, but Embiid uh, sucks. <laughs> if he's if he's if he's any part of your fucking future, <laughs> fuck you. If, yeah, but Embiid sucks. No, he, no, he's just he just sucks. He just showed some ugly I colors mean, the other night. There are suckers, and there's people that suck. I don't want him. If I was anybody, I wouldn't <laughs> want him representing my shit. The thing is, he's not wrong. Because the that was terrible. The the fucking crying to the in the media and the you know that and the dirty the hits. failure to take any accountability whatsoever for what's happened, just it's all their fault. You know these calls are ridiculous. Blah, blah, blah. Not never once saying I need to be better, never once saying look they they put it to us tonight. We we I or we it's not us. You know that Simbi doesn't get it. And it, it's a bad look. And LeBron, who should know better than anyone, is fucking still crying about fucking replay. Dude, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, really? By the way, you know who's been... A, <laughs> you'll love this. LeBron just was complaining about how the <laughs> Lakers don't get any calls. Do you know who leads the NBA in free throw attempts? The Lakers. <laughs> Did I hear they were like a plus five? The Lakers. <laughs> The Lakers lead the NBA in free throw attempts. <laughs> and yet, according to this this well, this king, your king, Mike Courtchester, um, the league has an inform. <laughs> of all the jackass things to say. <laughs> mm-hmm. well, Ant's about oh to talk to SVP. God. Oh my god. Should we watch Ant talk to SVP? We should. Let's turn up Ant. He's earned it. Squad is at the moment. Uh, it's, a, it's speak measures, man. Um, uh, I just want to give a shout out to Nikhil, man. Nikhil and Jade, man. They they've been playing uh, at a high level these these first three games of the playoffs, man. So big shout out to them. And big shout out to you. I mean, stars bring their best when the best is required. Thirty six points, nine assists, rebounds, five assists. And it's not like Jordan esque. <laughs> but it it appears that there's another gear you're finding in terms of confidence, in terms of patience, knowing when it's time to play. Minnesota and asking, Denver? How would you describe your, your mentality? That's going to be a hell of a fucking <laughs> series. <laughs> Who wins uh, that series? I think, I think Minnesota does. Um, uh, they ain't afraid of Denver at all. They, 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 they took the season series from them. They're not afraid of them. They, Denver may have home court because they got injured without... They, Carl Anthony Towns is back. The idea of getting that last one is always the most difficult, right? Like to to get rid of a proud team. I've which never be- been here, so I don't know. I've never been here, so I don't know. I can't speak about how tough it is. I mean, I can just come out here and play my game and, and have my guys ready and be ready to win. I don't know how tough it is. I haven't won a series yet. I've been sent home twice, so I'm, I'm thirsty to get it. So I don't I don't know. I don't think we're gonna come out and and, and BS around. Understood. And, and maybe you just answered my next question because you haven't been here. But how do you fight human nature? Because it's it's difficult for us. We're going to talk to Tim Legler here in a minute, right? Like, we can all see what's around the corner, potentially. You're up 3-0. Denver's up 3-0. How do you guys stay locked in on the present and what's required? I mean... I mean, we've never been here before, so I think it's pretty easy for us to lock in on the present. We can't look forward. We can't look past tomorrow or the next game. We got to we gotta look at right now because we, we've never been here. We, we just start winning, so, you know, we want to keep it going. Well, you got a chance Sunday night to, to get rid of what's in front of you, as you just told me. I'll let you get uh, cleaned up tonight, man. Thanks for throwing the headset on and stopping by. Uh, good luck on Sunday night and the rest of the way, all right? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes, indeed. Anthony Edwards, 36-point performance. Was that a weird interview? Minnesota gets um, no. a big victory. Was he, he being come, edgy with the SVP? Like, yeah, he's, like I never, he's trying to say, I've never been here before. I, saw I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. Games on I know this. But it was almost like, like Scott Van Pelt was like, you know, it's, it's tough to put a team away. And, like, instead of just saying, yeah, it, it is, we have to stay locked in, he's like, we've never been here before. I don't know how tough it is. Yeah. I've never been here. Like, why did he get all like that? I don't know. Did you but he that? wasn't lying. He's so never been there before. They've been sent home twice. He's never been there before. I know, but um, but like everybody knows, you know, it can be tough to put a team away. I don't know. I think they're gonna quit. <laughs> they quit after halftime. It may not be tough to put them away. They may like why are we gonna play to go miss get our ass kicked? <laughs> <laughs> like, go, you know, golf course is ten minutes out. <laughs> 
you know what Miami looks like right now? So I don't know. But anyway, look, the thing is this. That kid, 36-9-5 and five tonight. Hell of a game. Best player on the court. On a court that had Kevin Durant on it. Okay? So everything about Minnesota is legitimate. They, they, don't, they don't care. They don't want to know. They don't care. And to his point about him kind of being a little defiant with, with Van Pelt, I think that's their team. They don't give a shit. And to me, that's why Denver has a problem. Okay, that team don't give a shit about Denver. They we took the season series from them. They don't. They don't believe the hype. In their mind, we can beat them. We beat them three times already. We're fucking up right now. <laughs> and he's and, he, and by the way, a team takes on the the role of its leader. Listen to this motherfucker talk. He didn't no. give a shit about Jokic and Ant Edwards. He oh, talk, yeah. He sounds like Jordan and Bird to me. I'm gonna mm-hmm. fuck. <laughs> he's like shit. No, they don't. These guys don't fear nothing. They well, they're competitors. They live for it. He wants to beat yeah, he, Denver. He's the type of guy that's not scared to say no, like, "Yeah." I, I tell you what, be Jamal Murray's him. got his hands full. You better. You Jamal better, Murray's not scared though. I know he's not, but he hasn't faced a guy like him either. Yes. Who? They played each other. I'm saying in the playoffs, they haven't oh, met yeah, in the yeah. playoffs. He hasn't met this kid in the playoffs. Is this the first time for Ant in the playoffs? No, third time. They got sent home in the first round both times. To who? I forget who it was, but he just said we never got out of the first round. I've been sent home twice. I know, but it's he's. Been to the playoffs. He's young. I know. He's a baby. He came out at 19. So he you has know. been in the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, he's been in the league three years. He's been in the playoffs twice. Was that Marvin Harrison? That was Jr. Marvin Harrison Jr. Why is he there? I don't know. Where did he go again? Arizona? Anthony Edwards is Georgia. No, no. Marvin Harrison Jr. Or did he go Ohio to State. Ohio State? Ohio State. Um, no, but did Arizona draft him? Yeah, the Cardinals. Okay, yeah. That's, that's, why that's what I meant. Yeah. So, um, anyway, um, the thing is this. Look, Anthony Edwards don't give a shit. I know for a fact Carl Anthony Towns doesn't give a shit. So, and Gobert's been in the playoffs as well with Utah Jazz and Mitchell, so he's actually got to the second round. So, it's not like they're green here. But um, Denver better enjoy the, the their, their four-game sweep of the fake show. Um, and, again, not Anthony Davis' fault. He showed up. LeBron James cost him one game with seven turnovers. Think about this. In all three games, the Lakers had a double-digit lead. That's bad. That's fucking ridiculous. A lot of people are uh, calling for Darvin Ham to get out of there. Well, I'm not going to blame LeBron. <laughs> but seven turnovers it tells me that was LeBron's fault. That yeah, one was squarely on LeBron. <laughs> so Anthony Edwards has played Jokic to a standstill, and I think he's actually got played him a little Davis. bit. Davis. Yeah. He, he showed up. Can't blame him for this one. No, 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 no. Um, but... Barring a miracle, LA's getting swept. They had to win game three. I thought they would win game three. Um, that that scene with 341 to go in the game where D'Angelo Russell, who pulled the donut hole, by the way, talk about choking the chicken, mm. is not in the huddle. Looks like he's on a cell phone he's or something. like over seven, over six from three or something he like was, that. Don, he was worse than John Starks. Well, let's not go too far. He was worse than John Starks. John Starks. Wasn't he like one for twenty one? He was zero for eleven in Game Seven against the fucking Rockets. Zero nah, for eleven. Nah, not zero for eleven. Zero for eleven. I have the game on tape. No, no. Okay, so that's from three, right? No, period. Oh, he didn't score. Zero <laughs> for eleven. I thought he was one for twenty one or something. No, that was over the last two games. <laughs> uh-huh. Point is, the man sucks. <laughs> Starks was actually a good player. Um, he just was never as good as he thought he was. Um, and he kept picking fights with guys he couldn't fight with, like Michael Jordan. Like, why are you talking shit to that guy? You, you, you can't hang with him. And it was proven every time. You know, he'd pick a fight with Clyde Drexler. He'd lose that bet. I'm like, what are you, you, dude, don't you stay in your lane. And I'm not saying you're not competitive. You're not trying to win. But don't, don't throw gasoline on fire. Because every time he did that with one of those guys, it backfired on him. So, pretty much. Um, so, in any event, um, back to the present day. Uh, Minnesota has taken a commanding 3-0 lead over Phoenix. This was a bum blasting. Phoenix is, it looks like they quit at some point in this game, and I, I, I'd be shocked if they put up more than a fight beyond a quarter in game four. They're done. Um, with L.A., and given what D'Angelo Russell did on that bench, and you may have seen that by now, what's, what's that going to look like in game four? Because if there's not... If there's not dissension, there is now, because everybody saw the replay of that. So, 
What 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 are the Lakers gonna look like in Game Four? They, they they were already this is you know the worst thing now is having in, in team in house fighting, you know. And Stephen A. Smith was saying, I wish Jerry Sloan was the coach, not Darvin Ham, because Jerry Sloan would have thrown Darvin Ham or, or the James Russell off the bench. <laughs> Had somebody escort him back to the line, clearing you you lock you down. That's what Jerry Sloan would have done. And by the way, Jerry Sloan would have done that. He would have. <laughs> um, he threw Carl Malone out, out of a game once. He threw his own play. He threw Carl Malone out of a game. That's a true story. Um, Jerry Sloan didn't fucking play. So, but Darvin Ham ignored it, like most of today's coaches do, and just. Forget him. Just didn't even say forget him. Just actually, he's not even there. Um, but that sent a bad message. And the Lakers are done. They're all done. Uh, it doesn't matter what, what Anthony Davis does. He's, 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 he's done all he can do. Doesn't even matter what LeBron does. Their supporting cast is not good enough, and that's the problem. And I, But I got news for you. Denver, they're your next opponent. Ain't going to have that problem. <laughs> so... From Michael Conley to fucking Gobert, they are not going to have that problem. So this is going to be, i tell you, that second round, yep, must-see TV. <laughs> um, I don't know what he's looking up right now. Um, <laughs> you know I'm looking something up. Dr. Giggles has arrived. Um, <laughs> and uh, Dr. Giggles. Dr. Giggles. Ter- it's better than, it's ter- better than Dr. Lecter. Terrible movie. It's better than Dr. Dr. Lecter. Mm. Dr. Eagles was kind of fucked up, though, because you hear me, and then all of a sudden a saw would go off. I'm looking up the John Starks. Slice a person in half. The John Starks. And laugh when he was doing it. That was fucked up. It was the weirdest laugh. It was weird. His line, his one-liners were so terrible. Oh, my. <laughs> that looks very difficult. What should we do about that? Oh, I know. And he puts a fucking spike to the guy's head. <laughs> Just like stupid shit like that. <laughs> I mean, like, Wow. <laughs> oh, nice pass there by uh, Harden. Hit Luca right in the face. By Russell, in Game Seven, John Stark shot two of eighteen. Oh boy, I knew it. Isn't that worse than zero for eleven? <laughs> yes, I thought. I thought it was one for twenty-one. The man stunk. Two of eighteen. Choked the chicken in Game Seven. Ugh. Game seven, he was not. <laughs> so, that that was a heartbreaker, man. Uh, that 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 performance defined. If he could have just hit a couple shots, that that performance defined John Starks. <laughs> defined that whole team. Yeah, because everyone when people think of John Starks, that's what they think of his game seven against Houston when he fucking choked. Dude, because choked. Because once Jordan choked. retired, we were the team that should have won. If we thought we were that good, and it was always Houston Michael was Jordan was in our way, we should have won it. And we were we were better than Houston that year. You think so? Yes. Cool. Yeah, because we should have won. If John Starks doesn't shoot one percent, well, that's precisely why you shouldn't have won. Because John Starks never. <laughs> he, he you guys he was didn't, better than that. You guys never beat Chicago when Jordan was playing. Exactly. So he we never couldn't. he never overcame that. He you, he advanced when he left. <laughs> so right. and when I'm he came saying, we're and the when team he came back, should have won it, when they were it, gone. Yeah. Why? And we choked because we were good enough to. I thought Olajuwon was better than you in that final. But our, our team was better. We should have won that. I think Vernon Maxwell would disagree with you. We went back to Houston As up fucking 3 2. Kenny the Jet Smith. We went back to Houston up Mario Alley. Robert Ory. Oh, yeah, it was great. Otis Hill. Those are great teams. Sorry. They were. They were world champions. Dude, they were, they were a fucking pubic hair away from not being world champions. A champion. pubic hair away? Yeah. Did you mention that? Well, I mean, I've got some long ones. Sure? Um, anyway, they're showing... Are you seriously debating that? Oh, Houston was better than you guys. The Knicks were up 3-2 heading back you know why, to Houston. And, and by the way, you know why Houston was better than them? Because Houston didn't have John Starks. <laughs> That's I mean, simple. Because if John Starks yeah. is on the team, you have to account for him. Two for 18 tells me you're not better than him. <laughs> that wasn't his typical performance. He choked at the end. Then you're not good enough. If you choke, you're not good enough. Like the Celtics choked. They weren't good enough. However, I, I slice saying, it. I'm just saying, if there hadn't been the choke, the Knicks win that. If the Celtics hadn't turned the ball over 40 Knicks, fucking times in two games, they don't, but they did. They choked. They weren't good enough. The end of Golden State was a better team for that reason. They didn't fuck up like that. And part, listen, and I had to swallow this. I had to learn this myself the hard way. Sometimes it's not what you did. It's what your opponent did. And sometimes what you didn't do, and whether it was self-inflicted. If it's self-inflicted, it's even worse. That means you choked. <laughs> You right. choked. That's what I'm saying. If they imposed their will and forced, that's that's okay. They were better. When you choke, you're definitely not as good because you couldn't handle the moment. They did. Yeah. 
that's I hate that it works both ways. So <laughs> I, I will say this. I thought that, that just means you're pretty close. If I mean. the if Ewing played in ninety eight, I think they would have won that championship. If Ewing was healthy, I think they would have won that one. Yeah, but he was I so do. old. But he was still good. When he played, he was still yeah. good. That, that's all they needed was someone to offset Duncan, and they would have won. That was the problem. They had no one to offset him. All he had to do was offset. He had to play him. They were a lot <laughs> closer to winning the Houston title than the Spurs title. It was not, that's not even an argument. But Ewing wasn't there. They lost in five to the Spurs, right? They won one game in that series, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't he was. He that. never played. If he played, that would have gone seven. Mm. It definitely would have gone seven if he mm. played. It would have because he could still play when he was healthy. The fucking the, dude, the, the Rocket series shouldn't have gone seven. They should have won in six. They were in they were in position to win Game Six. And they blew it. <sighs> they blew it. They weren't good enough. I know they, they weren't good enough. So but enough. I'm saying they were right there. No, but you can't. It wasn't because the Rockets were so good. They were. I. They were the two best teams in the world. Okay. They both deserved to be there. The and and it was a, the, it. the series went back and forth. I just thought at the end Houston was better than them. Mm. Not not like by a country mile, but they were better. <laughs> I just feel like when you're up three two like, in the series, there like, are finals like when you watch like when the Bulls played um, the first time they played uh, Portland. They played Portland. They were better than Portland. Mm. They were better. It was it was like they were better. I mean, so I felt like they were always when they better. played Seattle. Yeah. The Bulls were flat out better when they played Seattle. When they played the Suns. Yeah. Well, actually, no. The Suns actually had more talent. Remember now. Think so? Yeah. Remember now. Rick, uh, what's his name? So Cedric Sabalos didn't play in that series. And he was averaging 21 points a game. He was like Dan it went, Marley? He was better than Marley. Sabalos was an all-star. I know, but Dan Marley was their starting two guard. Jordan wasn't he? shit all over him. Jordan took a shit on Marley's head. Exactly. That's you know why? And, you know, and by the way, you know why that happened? Did you you know were what? saying they had so much more talent. If Sabalos plays that series, Phoenix wins. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Because really? the, they were in every one of those games. If he put 20, you was can't. Kevin Johnson on that team? Yep. He was. But if Sabal, you can't lose 21 points a game out of your lineup. They had, they had three 20 point scores Barkley, him, and, and KJ. Yeah. You can't lose a guy like that. Yeah. I mean, you, you may I still realize, get there. I didn't realize Cedric was a 20 point scorer. 20 for them. point. Cedric Sabal's career, his career was just like 18 or 17. Mm. He was in his prime, he was, he was averaging over 20. He was 21, 22, something like that. So he was legit. They lost him. Now, the kid that backed him up, Dumas, turned out to be really good, but he wasn't him. He was good, but he wasn't him. But, and look, the thing is, um, and Barkley that year, Barkley had his best year ever. Mm. Barkley won league MVP that year, and, and it was deserving. He had his, but they were the, they had the best record in the league, and he was, yep, legit. They won two out of three games in Chicago. That's when he started shooting more jumpers. He started to at the yeah because he went, he hit the game winner. It was kind of weird. If you think about this, to, to get to Chicago in the Eastern Conference, in the Western Conference Finals, he at the foul line right uh, over David Robinson yeah. over David fucking Robinson to win the series. I'm like fucking that was clutch. That was pretty fucking clutch. <laughs> okay, it wasn't like the other night when LeBron James was standing all by himself at three point line, fucking bricked a wide open three. <laughs> okay, he shot it over a fucking seven foot one Hall of Fame jumping jack. Yeah, but it was a fucking twelve footer, not a. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Out. It was a, it was behind the foul line. Oh, was it? It was behind the foul line. Huh. It was like 18, 19 feet. And Robinson, he, he got him to step back. He stepped back and just over his outstretched. I thought it was like a step in front of the. Foul no, line. he was behind him. Yeah. He was behind it. Well, I think we should pull the video. Pull it up. He's on behind on the left That's side. Cool. He's not in front of it. Um, what, what year was that? 93. Barkley game winner over Robbins. If you just type it into the window, it should pop right up. <laughs> Here it is. There's Danny Ainge. That's not the game winner. <laughs> Thanks, Sherlock. That's not it either. Thanks, <laughs> Sherlock. That's not it. Here it is. I think you're going to be right. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, yeah. What was that, a 17 fight? 17. Over Robinson? Oh, give us a better angle. They'll show it again. See, this is Oh, they didn't show it again? This is why I didn't know. Well, he was behind yeah, the three-point line. Yeah, he was like 10 feet behind the three-point line. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> he was like four feet behind the fucking yeah. three-point But behind he the He thought he line. caught it at the foul line. <laughs> I thought he shot it a I foot in front. through all that traffic. <laughs> I thought he shot it a foot in front. No. He was about 17, 18 feet. 
Um, he backed Dude, but him you down. never get a good angle on it. That's terrible. <laughs> well, bless you. Thank you. Um, bless you, John. Oh, I have to save that bag of weed song. 147? Jesus, Jesus Christ. What? Late as fuck. We got soccer in the morning. We're not playing. We're just going to laugh at everybody. No. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, the ref, by the way, last week, that ref. Terrible. That ref was awful. Like, I thought parents were going to get thrown out of the game. Parents were going to get thrown off the field because there was a couple parents y- yucking it up. What, what, Look where he's they're standing. still not going to show. Look where he's standing. He shoots two through. <sighs> Damn, that was close to a three. It was close to a three. Well, I stand corrected as normal. Oh, and there's Kelsey throwing the shirt. Oh, yeah, Kelsey. Dude, they got divorced. I saw that. She's back on the market. It's a Darren, Joker smile. Joker Darren smile. Da- Darren Waller. Joker Here's smile. This, watch this bomb. They're just trying to, trying to get her ass in there. This is the deep throw. The deep throw. Here it comes. The slow mo. Slow mo. Left follow through. And the hook. Isn't she lefty? I mean, I would say. She's lefty. If she's not lefty and that's, she threw that lefty, that's, that's uh Look at that. She's lefty. Dude, that is dude, that is a launch. Go ahead, KP. Not sure what Darren Waller was doing. Nick Nurse. Public. Oh, he got traded. They said he got traded to um from from the Raiders to the Giants. That's when it fell apart. Because they were in, because she's in Vegas. Mm-hmm. They were in Vegas together. Yeah, that's right. And they were young. They were young. Yeah, they were very young. Yeah. I mean, who the fuck gets married at like twenty two? Nick Nurse, Public Enemy number two. Buying MB. Yeah. <laughs> did you hear him in the press conferences? <laughs> what? That fucking weasel. What did he say? They're now? like, they were like, so. Were you worried at all that that you know that that foul on Embiid? You know, would be called a flagrant two or whatever. Which you know. is what it was. Yeah, and he was like, "I'm sorry, I didn't see it." Really? So when the replay <laughs> came on the big board there in Philly, you didn't see it? <laughs> the fuck out of here, Nick. Nash. You don't. You don't remember when they reviewed it? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, it was on the fucking big board this for the whole fucking what, world to he, see. You know who you reminded me? I didn't um, see it. That's Bill Belichick. Is it shit. Gary? Um, who? Who's the actor? Gary Oldman. That's who he reminded me of. You know who Gary Oldman is? Yeah, he played, uh, uh, what's his name? Commissioner Gordon. Yes. Look at him. He's got this Gary Oldman. No, Gary Oldman's got a whole head of hair. What? Gary Oldman has a whole head of hair. He doesn't have the fucking. Of hair. No, he's got to look at the fucking UFO landing he's got there. Dude, get the fuck out of here. That's not a UFO. A forehead from hell. You can it's fucking, receding. You can fucking put a movie on that thing. <laughs> Dude, it's totally Gary Oldman. <laughs> Gary Oldman still has a head of hair. It's Gary Oldman. I'm trying to think of which. Which Gary? Well, which character? It's not. It's not Commissioner Gordon. You're right. Gary it. does have that full head. He's got a full head of hair, well, dude. No, that's receding. It is now. <laughs> not, I'm talking about Gary Oldman. You weren't now. thinking of that Gary Oldman. You were thinking of this no, Gary Oldman. No, yes, no, were. that's that's the young strapping. <laughs> the, the young strapping. Not Look the, at him. Yeah. See, this is the one I was talking about right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's Commissioner. That's Commissioner. That's wasn't commission. him. Yeah, now he's fucking 18 years later. He looks That's like who that. I was talking about. The last time I saw Gary Oldman was in a Apple TV show called um, Quiet, Quiet, H- Quiet Horses. <laughs> but, no, seriously, he's got an Apple TV show. That's okay. the last time I saw him. Okay. Now, who was I comparing him to? Nick Nurse. Yes, look. No. That's him. No, it isn't. That's him. No, it isn't. That's Gary Oldman. That's Nick Nurse. Look, that's fucking Nick Nurse. That's Gary Oldman. He trimmed his hair. Look <laughs> <laughs> this cunt. He is this cunt. <laughs> Nick fucking Nurse. Oh, Look at that. Nick the cunt nurse. That's not Gary Oldman. Not at all. Nope. No way. Look at Gary. That's Nick look Nurse. at look at Gary. That's not that's, Nick, that's not even Nick no, Nurse. That's not that's Nick Who Nurse. Who is that? That's Nick Nurse. No, that's Nick. That's Nurse. an old Nick Nurse. Nurse at all. Oh, these are old. All. Doesn't look like all. Dude, these are old. They just have they have the same facial hair and they have glasses. That's why you're fucking so convinced. Exactly. They're not the same. It's fucking Commissioner Gordon Nick that's, Nurse. That is not Commissioner, Com- Commissioner Nurse. That is Commissioner Cuttingham. <laughs> okay. It really is, <laughs> and I'm so dude. I can't. Can you sit there and say you didn't see it when the whole fucking world saw? It? I he was just like, I haven't looked at it. Sorry. 
And it was just like, it was so, so smug. So, let, let me get this straight. When the refs stopped the game to determine if or if not your player was going to get thrown out, not only your best player, you didn't look up at that replay yourself? <laughs> that is the biggest fucking lie ever told. <laughs> okay? That is unbelievable. Well, I don't know that they showed him flagrant fouling to the Philly to the Philly fans. They probably the whole didn't. fucking world saw this replay. Well, you could see it by watching. I got news for you. Whenever they show a replay, first of all, you hear the fans in the stands, because <gasps> they see it on the big jumbotron. I promise you, they showed that replay. I'm saying I could see Philly not showing that replay because oh. they don't want to show how dirty he was. But the problem is, it was so easy to see live. It was live. You, yeah. didn't, need you, you didn't need a replay to see this. That's the thing. So him acting like he didn't see it. Oh, the look, fact- look. It's Kuiper. Kuiper. Talk about it. Should we listen? Hair. Turn him up. Kuiper. Kuiper. Yeah, talk about a head of hair. Kuiper. He's got Commissioner fire. Gordon can go to hell. Kuiper could pull off Commissioner Gordon. Of versatility. I thought he was an excellent pick. Edger and Cooper. Then you get Javon Fuller, a safety. Jam, yeah, well. fucking Georgia. Fucking Bulldogs. Filthy. He's liking what Green Bay did. Yeah, look at that. They added some talent. They went all, they went three defense in Atlanta running back. That kid's a beast. Look at that kid. We saw so many quarterbacks taken early in round one. What, yet yet six going in a blink of an eye. Twelve, six of the first twelve. Crazy. Crazy. Anyway. Is the presumption that Spencer Rattler might be the next quarterback to go on Saturday? Oh, he's still around. So Spencer how, Rattler. How soon might he hear his name? I heard somebody saying Giants, maybe. Well, I could go maybe third round, Scott. And certainly, we're going into the fourth round starting tomorrow. Fourth, fifth round areas where Michael Pratt from Tulane thought okay. he could come off the board. He had a couple good years, really four really good years. But he did it Michael Tulane, Pratt from Tulane. Offensive coordinator. So, like, Rattler... You think about a guy like that, so like, uh, Michael Pratt. You think about you know, Jordan Travis at Florida State. Nobody you think about, you think there. about. I'm a little surprised Rattler wasn't taken in round three. Remember, Caleb Williams replaced Spencer Rattler in that game against Texas. Let them kind of come from behind the victory, and that changed everything for Caleb. Certainly, it changed nice everything for Spencer. Had to go to South Carolina. That's a nice throw. Had a really good year overall. On the run. There was some inconsistency there in terms of just some head scratching throws. That's why he's still available. Head scratchers. Head scratchers. Four starting tomorrow. Rest quick, Mel, uh, round four, and then <laughs> we'll be here before you know, my friend. Thanks so much for your time. Have you seen any of the clips of the Caleb Williams interview with... Um, I'm turn it down. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off. Um, and it's got to happen. Have you, have you seen any clips of the interviews with Ryan Clark and Caleb Williams? On it? I think it's on the pivot. But... Ryan Clark's asking him about his college career, and he's like, yeah, I mean, I think the, you know, he says something about, like, the toughest one to take was when he didn't start at Oklahoma. Hmm. Caleb Williams is talking about this. And Ryan Clark goes, but but you went to o- Oklahoma, and Spencer Rattler was already there, and he was a projected top pick in the draft, so you were mad when you didn't play? Hmm. He was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I don't understand. He's like, they already had a number one quarterback. You went there. Like, why why were you mad that you didn't play? It was an interesting conversation. Well, but, I mean, if the kid's a competitor, you want to play. Right, but he was acting hurt. I don't know. Ryan Clark seemed to oh, be. Oh, shit. Speaking Ryan of, Clark seemed to be like. Dude, that was a fucking hit. Yeah. Is this a Red Me or whatever his this name is? This was the Rangers against the Capitals. Is that what guy's fucking, name? Guy laid a guy out. Rad Me? Rad Me. Rad Me. Wow. Anyway, the Rangers. He's, their, he's their, their rookie enforcer. I can't remember what his name is. Yeah. The Caps are. The he gets Caps in a lot of done. fights and shit. The Caps are going to get swept. Rangers are legit. And then one seed in the East. President's uh, Cup. Yep. Yeah. Unlike the fucking Bruins who choked the chicken, they're going to advance. Um, well, so, what. what what round did they get bounced that year when they set the record for most? Regular First season? round. Oh man, they were up three to one. <laughs> they lost two games at home to who? The fucking Florida Panthers, who went mm. to the Stanley Cup final before they lost. So they were an eight um, seed. They were eight seed. The Bruins were the one seed. And they ended up winning it. Seven games. They came back from three one down. But I mean, Florida, Florida ended up winning the. the no, they lost to the to the Vegas Knights to the in, the, the in the in the in the final. 
but they got there. And they were the eighth seed. That's why I love the NHL playoffs, because it fucking doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, honestly. I've seen that it too many cool times. More often than not, chance. the one seed doesn't win. The, the last 10 President Cup winners have not won the Stanley Cup. So the best team in the regular season didn't win the championship 10 years in a row. That's why the NHL playoffs are the best. Okay? So my thing is, um, with the uh, Bruins, oh, the Bruins, hey, Bruins, Bruins. If they win tomorrow, they're up 3-1. That, that, that shouldn't make you feel safe, Boston, because they've been there before. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so... No one in Boston is going to be happy until they close it out. Problem is, Florida is sweeping Tampa Bay right now, mm. who the Bruins notoriously have a hard time with, and Florida's wiping their ass with them. So Florida is better than last year. <laughs> so we're not. So I don't know. That's that's probably their second round opponent. Yeah. If they win, so is that really? I don't know. Again, in hockey, if the goalie gets hot, the goalie it gets doesn't. Hot. It doesn't. That's the, the thing. You get, the goalie. Goalie, if the goalie gets hot, last year the Bruins had two of the top four goalies in the league and didn't win. Dude, if the goalie gets hot, the hot gets goalie. What? If the goalie gets hot, the hot gets goalie. It's kind of like when the going gets tough, the tough get going. The goalie gets hot, the hot get goalie. That's another one from the Aquarius Well, that's of the, what do you call it? I mean, that's said? right up there. <laughs> Hold on say? a second. That's right up there with... Um, the destination it, is the journey. Is the journey. Okay. And, um, what was the other gem? <laughs> what was the other one you dropped? <laughs> oh, man, I can't remember. <laughs> where you are is where you're going. Was that it? Mm. I hope not. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> where <laughs> you are is where you're going. Where you are is where you're going. It's all about the journey. Aquarius. What would you call yourself? <laughs> Did you say your name was the Something one? of idiocracy. <laughs> oh, the Galileo. The Galileo idiocracy. <laughs> The fun fact is, uh, idiocracy is not a word. No. It's idiocy. Idiocy. But in your world, well, <laughs> idiocracy. I, mean, I think is it just it it just further, it makes so much sense. I just think it further enhances. It hammers home the point. I think it enhances your greatness. The Galileo of idiocracy. Of idiocracy. Not a word. <laughs> See me on the other side. <laughs> Upside oh down. Oh my god. Upside down. <laughs> that is what <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Don't do this again. <laughs> uh, hey. Anyway. I think you started it. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. Anyway. God, you, my, I feel like my back needs to be snapped uh, into place. Anyway, you guys enjoy the weekend. <laughs> um, we will be back Monday night. We will regale you with the tales of the NBA regale playoffs. Regale you. And we'll see if the Bruins go up 3-1. We'll take. We'll check in on the Islanders <laughs> and Rangers as well. And the Mets and Shit Sox. Uh, weekend series. Got to get your head out of your asses, both of you. Seriously. Just win um, these series. Just win these series, please. Dude, the, the Mets go on a tough road trip. Uh, and they, they ended on a high note. Uh, okay. They split, they split the six games. Uh, they come home, they have a day's rest, and then they play St. Louis. Who has not been good. But they took one on the bum tonight. Well, it wasn't on the bum. It was hey, 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 Boston Red Sox, you're at home. It's okay to win. It's okay to win. They, if they don't win this series against the Cubs, I lose my shit. Anyway, um, we'll be back Monday Cubs night. Cubs are good, though. Remember Monday, Cubs by, are good. Monday is officially Cardinals Monday are not. Is my birthday. Monday is officially I so to we have out. to do the show. We have to do the show. Monday. Dude. Oh, fuck. It's Monday night. We always do Monday night. I know, but then I got to go into work the next day. Should do Sunday night. You want to do Sunday night? Well, because then 12 a.m. would hit, and then that would be your birthday show. Yeah, but you have to work Monday. And, but I have to work at my house. It's better than hitting 12 a.m. on a Friday. Yeah, you know, you keep changing the schedule. Right? We can't do this as family relations time. <laughs> when have I said that? When I first proposed Monday, Thursday. I said family relations You said time. family time. I just threw relations in a bit of donkey. Um, That's when I was trying. Sorry. It happens. Anyway. Um, so mm -hmm. Sunday night? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that might be. Well, I mean, I see what you're saying. Because it's, it's spread out it's more spread if it's out. on Monday. Monday. It spreads it out. Give a few days rest to recover. Yeah. A couple days to, you know, take it all in. What's happening? Now? Rest, recover. Yeah. Rejuvenate. So let's say Monday to be safe. Reinvigorate. Um, and the NFL draft will give you our full evaluation of that also. Knicks, Celtics, updates, and this, the shit sucks in the Mets. Um, but Ooh. until then, for the devil himself, Thomas, is a highly questionable, Ajay Miliaccio. You guys enjoy the weekend.
Rounds four, five, six, and seven. And seven. Seven, eleven, seven. And games four. <laughs>